So this is part of some testing for my aquarium project. Um, I've got some LEDs on a big heat sink which I want to chill. I've got this big heat sink on my aquarium which has got a whole load of LEDs on it. I think there's 111 on there. And they get a little bit of temperature into them. So I've put them on this big heat sink which does a pretty good job. It gets up to about 35 degrees centigrade, something like that, when it's on full full power. That's controlled with this little setup here. And there's other videos which go into detail about that. But the point is here, I'm wanting to add some controlled fans. So the idea being that we have a little temperature sensor which would be connected to the Arduino so if the temperature gets to a certain level, it will increase the fan, It'll increase the fan speed. I've been able to connect these PWM fans, and you can input a number, and I've manually tweaked that value via the XOD program so that you can have it from 0 to 1, and it's a duty cycle proportional number, so 1 being 100% duty cycle is going as fast as it can. So I've connected them up. If you type PWM computer fan pinouts, you'll get the terminations what you need. But basically what you want to be doing is connecting a 12 volt power supply, which is on that little connector there. You want to connect the 12 volt positive and negative to the fan. You want to put the ground to your Arduino so that you've got a common reference and then you've got your PWM. Decide which digital output you're going to plug it into. Plug it into that. I've got this little OLED screen here because, well, I've got a bunch of them and they're quite cool. So you can see what's going on. Okay, so I wanted to go through the XOD pro program and how that's working. So in order to achieve the goal of having the fan speed directly proportional to the temperature, these are the only modules that we really need for that. So We've got the temperature sensor here, which is on port 7. We've got the PWM load for the fans, which is on digital 4. In order to make the temperature make sense to the fan, the fan needs to be between 0 and 1. 0 being off, 1 being 100%, as expressed in a duty cycle. So we, have, we map the value, so that anything less than 24 degrees centigrade, the fan will be at 0. Anything above 30 degrees centigrade the fan will be at 1, at 100%. So the map clip is, is how that works. That's quite a nice little module, I found that for this project. Everything else on the left here is to make it come up on the screen, on the little OLED display. These nodes here are related directly to the OLED display um, and these ones here format the numbers to something that we can recognize, something that we can work with. So we're multiplying the output from the map by 100 to make it the percentage and losing the uh, zeros after the decimal point and we put it into this concat with the percent symbol and then it goes into the draw text and this is what comes up on the screen. For the, for the temperature there's something a little bit more interesting going on here. We're using the hexadecimal value. In order to get the thing ready for hexadecimal, you put backslash in an X and then you put F8. I'll put the uh, character map for the OLED display up. I just searched on there for it. came up. It's pretty useful stuff. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's going to be into this particular project is going to be integrated into the uh, main processor for the aquarium and um, I'll do that at some stage but for now this is the test complete so I've got the thing the uh, jerry rig set up on top of the aquarium here everything's kind of uh, delicately fastened securely in place as you can see the values which were shown on the uh, XOD program just now I've got the temperature probe securely fastened under this uh, fossilised sea urchin, which I found when I was a child. 
these fans incidentally are linked through so you've got an in and an out on there highly recommend these little fans they're made in Switzerland they're uh, called Arctic I think they're about £10 off uh, Amazon for one but it you know to touch this with the with the lights on would be quite hot normally and it keeps it nice and cool I'm going to have a piece of polycarbonate laser cut tomorrow so I'm going to have a piece of polycarbonate which is going to channel the air through the fins and then the two fans will be in the middle and then there'll be a little thing in the middle blocking it up so that it has to draw it from either end and not through the other fan so yeah there you have it it's night time for the little fishies at the minute go on fishies